if you put a finger on my sister, I guarantee your head pop, pop, pop just like blister. I might smile and grin, but trust me, darling, when it comes hi guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new it's your girl miss sis and i'm back with another video oh 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 i'm actually really quite excited for this one because i'm going to be trying out the newest collaboration with makeup revolution which features the brat dolls okay i am actually really excited for this so i'm hoping this will turn out really well and i hope you guys really enjoyed this video as well if you're new and you love makeup content fresh impressions reviews and a little smidget of lifestyle and vlogs make sure you do subscribe put your post notifications on to all so you never miss out any uploads and without further ado let's get right into the video okay so my friends have been spoiling me recently quite a lot of you makeup goodies um for due to my birthday which is like a month ago now they've come up with quite a few bits and pieces each brat doll have their own eyeshadow palette lip crayon and lip glosses they also came up with eyeliners i believe brush set a makeup bag and the main big eyeshadow palette as well so i got the shasha palette i also got the sasha lip gloss and also the lip crayon girl so we're going to be testing this out today have a little fun and all that goodness but this is what the palette looks like so it comes in the shape which is very unique and to be honest this is actually my very first makeup collaboration items in my collection i don't really tend to get them so this is like my first program featured collaboration with a brand if that makes sense so it's got sasha you know my home girl and these are the eyeshadows in the palette so you got a lot of colorful shades and a very few minimal neutrals I'm doing that and then you got these shades at the bottom pretty much they're quite universal these shades at the bottom because I personally would look at them as highlighters but I guess you can look at them as eyeshadows as well so yeah I've already swatched the palette because for some reason I've already done my intro got to this part swatched the palette and I realized that my whole intro wasn't even recorded so I already got the shades on my arm, so I'm going to show you guys now. What? So these are all the shades in the palette, and in terms of pigmentation, they're actually okay. Um, the only ones that I really struggled with was, funny enough, these three, which are the first shades in the palette, the orange one, then got your back, and then scorching. So these top three which are obviously these one here, were the ones that I struggled to swatch. But the other ones swatched okay. This is very pigmented, but I thought it was going to be more brown, which is called Latest Hits, um, which is this one right here. I thought it was going to be more brown, but it's it's actually quite red. Um, but yeah, these are all the shades. Some of them look quite similar. So, And I do like this um, purple shade here, this Future Purple. That's very pretty. But yeah, these are all the shades. So these are the highlighters. I really like the shade. It's like a bronzy rose gold shade. These formulas are actually quite nice, you know, to be honest. This one's a little bit crumbly, but it's got more of that iridescent champagne rosy undertone. But these two look exactly the same, but different formulas. Like this one is definitely more baked, where this one's got a little bit more of a foiled... Um, texture okay so those are all the eyeshadows pretty much swatched I don't know what I want to do I really want to play with the blues but because I'm planning to do another video where I'm gonna be using a palette with blues in there I want to leave the blue look in that video so I don't know if I'm gonna go quite neutral I'm not too sure but what's on my face already is my NYX control pro Total Control Pro foundation in the shade Coco. And I've got the Made by Mitchell Blush Bronzer in the shade Shade and Laid. And then I've got some concealer on, which is the Too Faced. No, this is dirty. What's wrong with me? Which is the Too Faced Multi Sculpt Concealer in the shade Chestnut. So that's all what I've got on my face. Getting that mean and a little bit of lip gloss. I need one. I really don't like when I have foundation on my lips. I don't know what it is that it really upsets me. So for primer today, you guys probably know by now, but I'm gonna use my Revolution Ultimate Eye Base Primer in the shade Light. Okay, so lids are primed. I honestly do not know what I'm going to do today. <laughs> I feel like I say that all the time, but I actually don't know what I'm going to do today. I actually didn't plan this out, you know. <laughs> As you can tell, I did not plan this out, so... Because <sighs> in a way, I want to go for like a cut eye, 
you know, to, to embrace the Bratz doll for their signature look, but I'm scared that it's not gonna turn out well. I'm gonna use a bit of mixed tape, which is the orangey one that I actually struggled to swatch in the first place. Yeah, see, she's not really popping, but let me just apply it in my crease. I was hoping that it was actually gonna be a little bit more pigmented, and I'm literally just packing on at the moment. I haven't started blending. It's kind of like a neon orange, it's not like a deep orange. And so I'm gonna deepen the crease and my outer V with that shade, latest hits. I'm gonna see if this dark shade, this muddy brown shade, Choreographer, is actually going to do something for the outer V. This is probably a shade that I should have laid down before because it's not really that pigmented. But it's doing something though. It is doing a little bit something. So I'm just gonna add that in my outer V. So I've done like semi-cut creases. So I'm gonna add a shimmer shade. I think I'm gonna add Scorching, which is this, oh, shame, it's actually here. This red one down here. And I really like this shade, so I'm gonna hope that it does. This feels like a normal standard shimmer shade. It's not like foiled or glitter. Applies on really nicely with a brush. Yes, quite dull for a shimmer shade. But I like the shade, but I don't really like the finish. I wish this, oh, what text me now? I wish the shade was just a little bit more shimmery. I feel like it's just like a satin. Maybe it's not a shimmer. Maybe it's just a satin. Well, look a sheen. I don't know. Then I'm gonna go in with the shade Bunny Boo. Ooh, she's nice. I like Bunny Boo. Ooh, I like that shade. It's like a pinky, rosy, goldish shade. I really, really like that shade. I actually really like that shade. I don't know if it's gonna pick up on camera though, but I actually really like that shade. Let me add this shade. This is called Vibe Check. It's matte, but I'm gonna add it on my brows. Okay, so the eyes are done. Um, so the color on my lower lash shine, I just used the same brownish reddish shade, which is a latest hit, but I only use it three quarters away because I don't like applying eyeshadow all the way to my inner corner because I feel like it closes my eyes. So I did use a little bit of vibe check in the inner portion just to brighten up my eyes a little bit but it still looks a little bit vibe and boom girl the lashes are from my britney white makeup i think it's in the style bad girl i have to double check but i will leave the links in the description box below so this is the rosy gold one let me just use my taper brush and let me see how she applies on the skin okay um nice shade i just don't really like the formula it's not fully baked as like the other revolution splendor highlighter that i always talk about this one's a little bit more glittery so up close i'm not sure if it's going to pick up on camera but up close you can see a little bit of separation because it's more glittery which is not really my favorite type of formula when it comes to highlighters but on the lid, that would look really, really nice. But on the cheeks, for me, it's not really my vibe. But she's cute. She is cute. Now, now we're going to go on to the lip product. So I'm going to try out the lip crayon. Um, I don't know if this is actually a shade name. I don't think there is. I think it's just going to be under Sasha, which is the Brat Dolls um, character name. I really do like the packaging. Once again, it's got the bunnies on the lid. And the name is like holographic as well which is actually really cute. And this is what the shade looks like. Ooh, okay. Ooh, like that shade. Terracotta Nudie shade. I really like that shade actually, but let's see what she's saying on the lips. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I like that shade. Once again, I don't really have lip crayons in my collection. But that is a beautiful shade. My lips were previously moisturized with Vaseline and lip gloss throughout the video. 
so it's not really too drying it doesn't really tug or anything like that yeah i actually really like that shade it's like a matte formula let me just wipe my lips off completely because i think i still had a little bit of residue of the lip gloss and let's start again yeah so without any sort of vaseline or gloss or any sort of moisturizing lip products on your lips it is going to feel a little bit more drying so yeah i could definitely tell a difference now but i actually really like that shade i'm going to line my lips quickly with the morphe lip liner in the shade trendsetter yeah that's a beautiful shade are you mad like no that is a really oh yeah that's a very nice shade yeah that is a really really nice shade okay so this is the maxi plump lip gloss now when it comes to plump lip formulas i don't go out of my way to get plumping lip wow this is actually quite big isn't it yeah i don't go out of my way to get plumping lip formulas obviously i've got like the plump lip glosses from revolution which gives you that slight tingling sensation but not in my eyes overwhelming so i'm gonna see what she's saying girl but comes in this really nice packaging with the bunnies on the top but it's got a fuchsia pink um purple lid and then it's all holographic in her name really really like this so this is actually massive i do not have a lip gloss in this size whatsoever ah! to compare it it's got the r like the bomb glosses and I'll probably say the width of the pump bomb glosses is exactly the same, but it's just bigger. So that's what it looks like. Actually, these shades look very similar. Oh yeah, you have to be careful because she has a lot of dribbity drip drip. Yeah, so she's got that same minty smell like the, I think it's actually these pump bomb glosses that have the plumping effect. Oh yeah, but that shade is nice. That is a nice shade. Let me actually swatch the shade Cookie. So this is the original Pout Bomb Plumping Lip Gloss. It really, really does. Can you not tell the difference? Then this is the Cher Brilliant Lip Gloss in the shade Gone Roll, which is not a plumping gloss finish. Yeah, these actually look very, very similar very very simple okay so these are the shade of the lip glosses so that one's the brats um sasha so i would say she's got more rosy pink undertone that one's in the shade cookie and that one's in the shade um gone rogue so yeah they're very similar pretty much same shades but different undertones so let's try on the brats one let's see what she's saying oh my god the shade it's the shade for me mm. so this is the shade sasha let's call her sasha because i'm assuming it's sasha got that tingling sensation and call me crazy i feel like it's a little bit more powerful than the original pout bomb glosses but it's really really nice yeah this is this is actually quite powerful Ooh. <laughs> and then i'm gonna Lie my lips ever so slightly. Oh my god. Oh guys. Something went in my eye and it's literally just jacked up my makeup. Oh no. Do I look like a mess? Be honest. Ooh, I hate that. Okay, we just have to excuse the fact that my makeup is now ruined because I don't know what went in my eye just now, but it ain't cute. Right, so this is the final completed look, minus our little um, situation here, but we're gonna roll with it. So I'm gonna start off with the lip products first. I actually really like this lip crayon. I don't have no lip crayons in my collection, so it's nice that I've got one that is a good shade for me. I love the shade, I love the consistency. It's very similar to the lip gloss. Um, so that's the lip crayon and that's the lip gloss. Now, the only thing I would probably say that you need to make sure your lips are quite moisturized because on dry lips, it will feel quite dry in. I actually really like the gloss as well. I like the shade. I think it's really nice. At the moment, the tingling cessation has, no, the irritation of the tingling has stopped but i can still feel like the mintiness on my lips if that makes sense but that is pretty much the same sort of vibe that you get from the original pout bomb glosses if you are my skin shade and you're not really into brats 
you're not really about that life i would suggest to go for the pulp bomb i think these ones retails for eight pounds and the pulp bomb retails for five pounds so technically this is actually worth more your money because it's double the amount of meals than this for less but if you're not really into brats then go for cookie and cookie is a little bit more brown where brats is a little bit or sasha is a little bit more have like a rosy undertone now for the eyeshadow palette let me, let, me, let me bring back Sasha. These shades down here, I think they will just work really nice on the eyes. This sort of formula is not really for me. As you can see, that I actually end up blending it out because I don't really like glittery chunks or particles on my face because I just em I feel like it just emphasizes texture. But once it's blended in, it looks better, but it's just not my cup of tea. I like the colour story. It's fun, it's girly, it's, you know, it's young, it's all that kind of vibe. I just feel like there are quite duplicate of eyeshadow shades in here, like these two blue ones, like the rose gold, like pinky champagne shades i uh, secondly i would have loved if there was a black not this brown even though the brown did do a little bit of something something for the girl i prefer a black and also it's very shimmer heavy and i don't know why revolution tends to do this um but i do feel like it's very shimmer heavy so to me for someone that's not really into eyeshadows that's quite like a beginner as well I did find it quite hard to achieve a look or to, to try and pair up shades to achieve a look because it's quite all over the place if that makes sense but I think once you're more experienced and you know what you're doing then you can do a little something something girl the shimmer shades are not that wet glistening shimmer shades that I am obsessed with they're your standard somewhat dry shimmer shades at the same time this shade is beautiful, which obviously I have creased because, god damn it, no one could have told me. Basically, this eyeshadow palette is not a must have, but if you're a person that you're like into like collectible items, you love brats, then you would obviously like it and like the whole aesthetic of it. But yeah, it's just not really practical for me, for my taste, for my little flop, so you know. But yeah guys, that's pretty much the end of the video. You guys let me know what you think about this collection. I hope you really enjoyed this. If you did, make sure you give it a huge thumbs up. That really helps me out a lot. And I would love to see you guys in my next video. Bye. And boom. They're on the tune like. Big up my sisters.